Hi, so I've gone ahead and invested in a commercially made spray booth for use for being keeping safe when I'm spraying aquatint ground through an airbrush. Um, it's a big beast. I'm going to put it together and we'll see how it performs. Okay, so I've unpacked it, I've got all the bits around. Um, it looks quite straightforward to put together, so uh, let's see whether I'm right. So the first bit that's a bit tricky to go on is this long light at the top, the top light. But effectively you, you connect the sides first, but only to the first of the folding connection at the top. And then you place the light onto that and then fold that top down until it engages. My theory is the second part to go in are the lower bars. You should have a little connector there for the power for the light. And these go in either side at the bottom. Okay, then it's quite straightforward, theoretically, to fit the other lights onto the sides. Okay, so that's the main structure of it. There's a nice carrying ha handle in the middle. So what you've seen there is the, the, the forward part of it can fold back in when you're not using it and it makes it more storable. Um, first impressions, it's quite robust. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, yeah, the build quality is really nice. So let's go on and put the ducting on. Okay, so the... Okay, so the ducting has this rubber seal around it and that goes in, there are ribs like that, it's slightly wider at the top. The narrow end goes around here and then just Et voilà. Then the, uh, the flexible ducting goes in. Make sure that's engaged. Push it down firmly. And then last but not least, the nozzle, which goes out through the window, goes onto the top. There we are. Okay. You get the idea. Okay, so it's all assembled. It was very easy to do. Um, it just needs a, a couple of minutes to put all the parts out and I can assemble it and take it apart again when I don't need to use it, probably in, in the same amount of time, a couple of minutes. Build quality, as I said, is really good. Um, they also provide a rather nice non-slip turntable that's used mainly for um, spraying models or I might use it for sculpture but I doubt I'll need it for spraying aquatint. They provide a 12 volt DC 5 amp power cable. It's time to plug it in and let's see how it operates. Wow! So it's all plugged in, let's turn it on. First of all the lights that's the power. Pretty good, huh? Not too loud. And the ducting out the window. Yeah? Fine. So it's good to go. Um, this afternoon I'm going to trial it for the first time and let you know how I get on by producing a Aquatint test plate something that quite a few of you have been asking for. So I'll get on and do that after some lunch.